We need electricity for even crypto to function. So, laddie. Right. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so, uh, when we see the AFDB intervening, you know, helping African countries, because we know infrastructure, top on that list, yep. uh, electricity is a major challenge, major for, challenge right, yeah, yeah. for businesses in uh, on the continent. So, I so mean. You say you want to produce. You, you need power. You, you need know, power. That, so even when you don't produce, produce, even if you just wanted to rest at home, right. you would need power. Exactly. Mm -hmm. To rest and to produce. <laughs> All right, let's take a look at the markets now, uh, the crypto market. Uh, see, it's, uh, it's red, it's red, it's red. We've been seeing this trend uh, for some days now. It's profit taking still uh, being carried out in this market. Bitcoin in red, Ethereum, BNB, XRP. The whole market at this point, just few pockets um, of green. Let's look at the top stories. Um, now, top headlines uh, in the crypto space there. We're seeing a top metric now showing that uh, there is some possibility that uh, stable coins uh, are enough uh, to get most of the Bitcoin. The key stable coin metric, um, that's dropped about 80%. Um, percent. see data from on-chain analytics firm Glassnode um, showing an ongoing drop in the stable coin supply ratio. That's SSR um, oscillator. The SSR oscillator tracks the ratio between uh, Bitcoin market cap and the combined value of own, all known um, stable coins. We know how investors like their stable coins in the crypto market. When there's so much volatility, they run into that, you know, for safety. So this is a plus, you know, showing that um, the stable coin uh, metric uh, can, most of these stable coins can actually, you know, purchase most, most of the Bitcoin there. So that's a, a bullish sentiment for Bitcoin. And uh, Vitalik there, as the creator of Ethereum, is warning about adding AI to blockchain. His um, because right now, everyone's talking about AI and all the great things AI can do. But he's saying, you know what, hold your horses, be careful how you add artificial intelligence to blockchain because it also poses a lot of risk. That's according to uh, Vitalik uh, Buterin. Uh, let's, uh, well, it's, it's inflation and um, all about rates uh, this period. Also, yeah, we see Thailand, is, uh, SEC has revamped um, crypto um, rules you know, in their country. It's all about, you know, getting regulation for crypto at this point. I've seen the Thailand's uh, Securities and Exchange Commission, uh, they've introduced a revised regulatory framework marking a significant shift towards supporting the digital asset market. So uh, this is going to help um, investors in Thailand uh, know how to, you know, differentiate what to, how to invest, you know, in the crypto market so that they, they play um, with the rules. So let's bring in Gilbert Jokpata. Is, uh, FOMC day right there. All eyes on the U.S. Fed. What are they going to do with rates? Is it going to be a hold as expected or are they going to raise rates? Let's talk to Gilbert Jokpata now, financial market analyst. Uh, great to have you, Gilbert. Yeah, nice to be here, Mr. Ladi. Fantastic. So 98%, uh, we have consensus here. 98% say the U.S. Fed is going to hold rates uh, today. Definitely, I'm sure that's already priced into the market, but we're seeing a lot of red in the crypto market. What are you seeing? Oh, it's first day, and uh, once upon a time, this used to be uh, a big event, capable of some major market volatility. Uh, I'm not underplaying this event. I, I, I know it remains significant, but uh, I'm expecting no change on the table, except Powell chooses to uh, surprise us. Uh, but so far, you know, smart investors have already pushed even the expectation of a red cut from March to May. And uh, this, this expectation has uh, came in more after the CPA data that came out last week, Friday, that shows uh, inflation remains moderate, while consumer spending remain uh, strong. And uh, but, but I still know we need to pay attention to some clues from uh, the press conference today to know if uh, poor may deviate from our current uh, data. But when you look at what is happening in, in the market away from uh, macroeconomics because I, I believe that as much as macroeconomics still have uh, an effect on the next direction of the market, uh, it's not it's no longer as volatile as it should be. Uh, Bitcoin right now is forming uh, more of a... Bitcoin is experiencing a dissipation period. It rebounds and already forming more of a legacy head and shoulder bottom. So we are testing that bottom uh, well. You know, this is actually a triggering event because uh, I, I believe this is a period where we'll have more investors rush into the market. So Bitcoin is about testing its uh, legacy head and shoulder bottom, which gets to about 41,000 and even 40,000. But then uh, this is a very, very major support that will lead us to uh, a stage where investors will rush into the market, both retail investors and institutional investors. 
Right. Well, we'll definitely be looking out uh, for decision. Uh, that'll be, uh, we'll, we'll be following the, the details and what is going to be saying, you know, going forward, forward guidance at the end of the day. That's what every investor is going to be listening out for. Thank you so much, uh, Gilbert Jokwata, Financial Market Analyst. Yeah, thanks for having me.